Hi! Greetings from Wisdom Lord Raphael. Before we start please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell icon and don't miss any content. This is the light novel of that time I got reincarnated as a slime. If you haven't watched previous video, I will leave the link on the description box, or you can click here. Let's start. This is Tensura Light Novel Volume 17. Tensura Light Novel. Volume 17. Fragments Across Space-Time. Chapter 2. Distant Memories. Dragon Saint. Some of the confrontations were unreasonable combinations. The demon Delia and the six warriors against her. Delia was furious. Hey, why are there six of them coming only to me? It was the last thing she wanted to hear. As if that wasn't enough, Delia urged further. Scatter. Help those who look more in trouble. But her voice was ignored. We've come here to help you, cried Bright, the leader of the seven vessels. Then put that sword away. Delia shouts back, sending the slash away from Bright slash. And then a bow and arrow fly in for the opportunity. Watch out. You're still so cunning. What do I do, if it pierces me? Because of her heightened ability to sense danger, Delia was able to evade. She complains to the bowman, but the gringle-looking young bowman is out of the picture. Delia, I'm sorry, but can you please calm down and be caught? I know you're in a bad way right now, and we're all in mortal danger. The whip handler hunts Delia down languidly but precisely. The archer responds with more attacks. If you're going to help, why don't you at least try to talk? Delia complained, desperately avoiding those attacks. One against six. Normally, the aggressor would have the advantage. But the truth was, Delia was on the winning side. If Delia had her way, those six warriors would have sunk in a pool of blood. She didn't because she wasn't willing to. Delia's human self was coming back to life as well. The demon's strategy was perfect, but stealing the human name had thrown a wrench in the works. Even without the appearance of Velgrind, it would have failed somewhere along the line. To the viewer, it was a clear situation. The strategy room in the demon stronghold has been thrown into chaos by the battle with the intruders. Only Velgrind, who was healing a meal, and mystery monk Pulsanella, who was folding his arms, were at ease. Despite being called a saint, he is evil in nature. And he was so cunning, that no one would ever know. Now too, he sees the situation, and seeks what is best for him. It is the very essence of human desire. The demon's ego was eaten long ago. But that doesn't mean assimilation was complete. Pulsanella's priority was to absorb power, and the demon's knowledge took a back seat. He thought that, as long as he had his power, he could handle the rest. Still, he had accumulated a little bit of knowledge, but he couldn't bring himself to study it intentionally. Thought acceleration would take an enormous amount of time to acquire memories that would span millions of years. Besides, absorbing unnecessary knowledge may affect your ego. This was Pulsanella's misfortune. It was unfortunate for Pulsanella, because he lacked knowledge of Velgrind. So Pulsanella made a fatal mistake here. Instead of dealing with Velgrind, he let his own desires take precedence. Amari Masahiko is a cunning man. He must know that, if we break the underworld gate, we can become kings. That's why I was right to pretend not to notice. That's why he trusts me. I'll use these intruders to my advantage. Pulsanella will use the opportunity to break the underworld gate and kill Masahiko. He planned to become king, but he saw the chaos as an opportunity. The demon that possessed Pulsanella had always fraud on the front lines as Kornu's chief strategist. Thus, he had earned the extra skill of life drain. Unlike Rumina's energy drain and Yuki's still life, this skill allows you to harness the energy of a dead enemy. However, it can only take less than 10% of your magicule at most. And since it can't be used in battle, it isn't that useful. Still, the advantage was that the more you fought, the stronger you became. However, Pulsanella's desire had sublimated his authority. This was the unique skill Metasimono, Instant Buddha. It gives the authority to take away as much power as your body is satisfied from an unconsciously weakened opponent. It's also difficult to use in battle, but it can come alive during melee. And here, in this place, there were some pretty good fighters. Kekaki. If I play my cards right, I could double their strength. Then Masahiko and even others will be no match for me. From now on, it will not be Kornu. From now on he will serve as my second in command. He could only see his own desires and even called out his Lord Kornu. Pulsanella kept watching the situation. He has been observing the situation and has identified a prime target. The battle between Xianhu and Li Jinlong was closer than expected, even though Xianhu had the upper hand. Both sides are exhausted, but the battle is still not over. It's a good thing to take from the weak, but that would make me wary of the strong. In that respect, Xianhu is the best. Originally, Xianhu thought that Pulsanella was his prey. 
This situation had come about before he went to China, but in the end, he gloated that it was all planned. Then, he took aim at the moment Xian Yu and Li Jinlong collided and bared his fangs. Xian Yu and Li Jinlong exchange fists, but there is a smile on each other's faces. I'm glad, Xian Yu. I've been a no match for you for so long, and now I'm fighting you like this. Li Jinlong, who had been wearing armor and sleeves until now, was happy to be able to fight Xian Yu. Xian Yu was his dream. She was so loved so much that she could not just be described as a genius. Li Jinlong's heart for her was complicated. If it wasn't for Xian Yu, he would have been the heir apparent. But seeing Xian Yu's brilliance when she was just a little girl, he also wanted to see how far the girl could go. At that moment, Li Jinlong must have admitted that he had lost. Hmm. There's no point in asking for help from others instead of elevating yourself. You talk like you know what you're talking about. I'd do anything to surpass you. I know. I'm not fighting on my own either. What? It's a fact that only the successors know, but it's not a secret, so I'll tell you. The spirit contains the knowledge and experience of each of previous successors. So, it's only natural that one should be stronger than their predecessors. Our founder's dream was to be the strongest in the world. It is precisely because he pursued such an impossible dream that he has created a way to pass it on to the next generation. That reminds Li Jinlong too. Rumor has it that the successor will always be stronger than the predecessor. Now he understands why. And he realizes that Xian Yu's power isn't just hers, it's the power of, so many great people. You have the power of others. Yes. That's why I can't lose. Man is a creature that creates a new path based on the accumulated knowledge of his predecessors. The philosophy of the Dragon Fist is the same. Without a strong foundation, a building will tilt. They had to raise themselves to embrace the power of others. So you're saying that I haven't trained enough? Yes. The power you have is useless if you can't master it. Li Jinlong was humiliated, but he knew it to be true. If you only compared the strength, she was better than him. He was still at a disadvantage and there was no excuse. His high spirits were dampened, but he still enjoyed the situation. He's not at an advantage, but there is the feeling that victory is within reach. The desperate exchange of life made Li Jinlong's blood boil. The demon's ego urges him to restrain himself, but he has no intention of listening to it. More. More. Faster and stronger, I'm going to win. His sense of inferiority to Xianhua disappears and the desire to win only grows. Correspondingly, even the demon's ego began to help Li Jinlong. It's a sign of complete assimilation. Make each other's desires their own, and the boundary between their hearts will be dissolved. Li Jinlong is convinced that he can defeat Xianhua. It was at that time. As they collided again, Pulsanella is standing behind Xianhua. Pulsanella's sword plunged into Xianhua's back in a moment that didn't even take a blink of an eye. Kahahaha. Fresh blood splattered from Xian Yu's mouth as she collapsed on the spot. Only because Xian Yu had trained her body to the utmost limit and stepped into the semi-spiritual life form as a sage, was she able to avoid instant death. But Pulsanella had cut out Xian Yu's heart. At this rate, Xian Yu's death was only a matter of time. Pulsanella is elated. He had devoured Xian Yu's heart and invoked his unique skill. Delicious. This will greatly increase my power. True to his words, Pulsanella was filled with energy. His subordinate Li Jinlong was enraged by this. Ignoring the absolute hierarchy as a demon, the human part of him screams from his heart. Bastard. You've not only sabotaged our game, but you've sabotaged my dreams. If you're the strongest, you'll have to beat me fair and square. That's what he shouted as he threw a kick. But it doesn't work. It was a desperate right-sided kick, but it was easily stopped by Pulsanella's outstretched left hand. Vulnerable. And there is no need for subordinates to oppose. You will be my food too. Since he hadn't fully captured Xian Yu's power yet, even if he ate it now, it would only be able to provide a small amount of power. Nevertheless, Pulsanella smiled lecherously and destroyed Li Jinlong's leg. Gua. Although this demon had no sense of pain, Li Jinlong's human consciousness was so strong that it caused him to feel phantom pain. Pulsanella laughs at that. Stop laughing. You are a fool who doesn't even know how to use the power of a demon and what it means to transcend the species of a human. If he had understood his characteristics as a demon, he would have been able to make use of his power more fully. If so, he would have been able to defeat Xian Yu. Pulsanella laughed and thought about how he should educate his subordinates. If they were still demons, it wouldn't be a problem, but if they had developed a human identity, it would be tricky. There are advantages and disadvantages. Being flexible was an advantage, but the possibility of betrayal was a disadvantage. Demons have an absolute hierarchy, but depending on their desires, some will put their ego ahead of that. This is certain since that is what Pulsanella is doing now. In terms of strengthening his own forces, he should let Li Jinlong be the example and make him understand his own power. It would be troublesome if he betrayed. 
After all, I should leave things as they are until we build a ruling system that does not allow for betrayal. And he has set the policy. He now thinks he's become a king. Besides, there are few executives left. Li Jinlong will take matters into his own hands, and Emil is protected by Velgrind. That leaves Delia, David, and the questionable Amari Masahiko. Masahiko is a tricky man, but he would swear to be a confidant if he showed him the overwhelming difference in strength. He's not stupid. If he realizes he can't win, he'll cooperate. So the question is, who's that Velgrind? That woman will be sacrificed as a test of my strength. He was very happy to draw a future forecast, but that cannot be a reality. After a moment of happy fantasy, Pulsanella clenched his fist as he was about to strike a blow to Li Jinlong. An evil aura surrounds him as he attempts to crush Li Jinlong's head. Get out of the way. The moment he heard the voice, an intense pain that he never imagined ran all over his body. The pain was so great that Pulsanella was rolling around and was not laughing at Li Jinlong. Li Jinlong could not help but laugh. Shenhua, I won't let you die. If you die here, Long's dream will also die. As usual, Velgrin does not give a damn about the convenience of others. This is the best way to deal with a dying being. Shenhua, who had been waiting to die, felt like she wanted to talk back. Yes, but. Regeneration. Also healing for recovery of physical strength. How's that? Velgrin healed Shanhua with a powerful spell of regeneration of the heart and then regained her strength on top of that. Velgrin had learned holy magic from her travels in various worlds. She did not need it at all, but did it mainly for the benefit of Rudra's reincarnations. In the meantime, people really worshipped in her, but they didn't know much about her. It was an act of God in this world, but, well, it didn't matter. Uh. I'm healed. I'm not in any pain at all, and I feel fine. There are people like Hanada who have a high resistance to magic. But God's miracle interfering with the spirit particle had no problem making it work. That's right. God's miracle. I thought resurrection was an overreaction. That's good. Yes. That's right, there was even more magic than that, muttered Xianhua in her mind. Now, she was back in shape, but that didn't solve the problem. What Pulsanella had taken was Xianhua's spirit. The knowledge and experience that had been entrusted to her for generations was still there, but most of her power is gone. Unless something is done about this, Xianhua will remain weakened. This would normally be a big problem, but Velgrind was here. Let me help you. It's Dragon's energy, so it's a good substitute. Far from bending a substitute, it will be stronger than ever. But that was only on a human scale. From Velgrin's point of view, it was only a margin of error, so she didn't hesitate to send the Dragon energy into Xianhua. The power stabilizing Dragon Kai strengthened Xianhua's body. Although not quite a saint, Xianhua had fully awakened as a sage. So this is, the power of Rai Osama, which was only given to the founder. Li Jinlong, who had been stunned and left behind in the situation, nodded his head in satisfaction for some reason. His expression was just like he had been when he was a human. Kekaki, after all, that kid should be like this. It's only when you're at a high level that you can be motivated this way. He was again one-sidedly looking at Xianhu as a rival, muttering something like. Even in the eyes of demon general Li Jinlong, she was getting stronger. And although a jubilant Xianhua didn't realize it, her life has been greatly extended now that she had become sage. She would rise to heights that even Long could not reach and would live as the ruler of this world as a dragon fist master. But that's another story. That's all for today hope you guys enjoy it. Please check my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification icon. And don't miss any updates. Thank you for watching.